Hello, Garrett here with Partzilla.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to clean the carburetor on a Mule 3000. It's not a tough job, just need to remove the carburetor, clean it at my bench, and reinstall it. It's that simple. So, let me go grab some tools and we can turn some wrenches. First step is we're gonna lift the bed all the way up. That way it'll give us access to the carburetor. Then we're gonna remove the seven 10 millimeter bolts that hold the top cover in place. This plate basically just braces the carburetor to the intake manifold. But before we do that, we have to remove part of the, of the throttle linkage. That way we can slide the plate off. Finish removing this last 10 millimeter bolt and then the two pieces should come off. Now we're going to disconnect the remaining part of the throttle linkage from the carburetor. And move on to our choke linkage. It's held in place by a 10 millimeter bolt. Don't forget to disconnect your spring and unhook your lever from the arm. Now we'll disconnect our fuel and vacuum lines. If you take your pliers and rotate the hose back and forth, it makes it a lot easier to remove those, you know, corroded on hoses. And now we'll remove our air box cover. It's held in with four 10 millimeter bolts as well. carburetor from the intake manifold. It's held in place with four 10 millimeter bolts. Now we're going to disconnect our breather hose. And simply remove the carburetor. And now let's take it to our bench. But don't forget to plug the intake manifold with rags. That way no shop debris can possibly get in and damage your engine. All right, now we've got our carburetor on the bench. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the outside of the carburetor with some carb cleaner and scrape off you know, that excess dirt that's accumulated on it. That way when I bust it open, I don't have to worry about any other dirt getting inside of the carburetor. Now we're gonna remove the old gasket and do that by taking my time, spraying it with carburetor cleaner, scrubbing it with a brush, and using a gasket scraper. But be careful not to gouge the mating surface of the carburetor. Slow and easy wins the race here. And it's a good idea while we're cleaning it to spray our, all our inlets and outlets on the outside of the carburetor and let them set while we rebuild it. Next up is removing the float bowl. It's held in place by four Phillips head screws. Be careful removing them because there's a good chance that they may be seized in place. So it might be a good idea to get you an impact driver. Yeah, this carburetor is filthy. Look at all the dirt in the bottom of the float bowl. Now we're gonna remove our old gasket and replace it with a new one. And to get out the old float and seat, it's just held in place with that one pin. Just simply remove it and the float and seat will come right out. Now we're gonna remove our two pilot jets use a flathead screwdriver and they'll come right out. Now we're going to start cleaning the ends out of the carburetor. We're going to spray cleaner in all the passages and scrub all the dirt out of the carburetor 
and then blow them out with air. But make sure we put air in each one of the passages on the carburetor. That'll blow out any little bit of dirt that may be stuck in there. Next up is pre-cleaning the float bowl. This one's really dirty, so I'm gonna hit it twice. Now we're gonna remove our main jets. They come out the same way as we did our pilot jets. Yep. And just like with the main part of the carb, we're gonna spray all the ports in the float bowl and blow them out with air. Now it's time to install the main jets. And when you tighten these down, be careful not to over torque them because they are made of brass and you could possibly damage them. And the same goes with our pilot jets. Don't over torque them. Now it's time to put our float and float set together. Just slides on just like that. And install it into the carburetor. And then slide our pin back in place. I'm gonna put our new gasket on. Install our float bowl. And with these Phillips heads, you don't want to torque them too tight because they could strip. Here's the last step in cleaning the carburetor. We're going to mount our new gasket in place. Now let's take it over to the mule and install it. Okay, to install the carburetor, all you do is simply reverse the steps you took in taking it off. So we're gonna start by mounting it in place with the four 10 millimeter bolts. Move on to reconnecting our choke linkage. Don't forget to hook up your spring for the choke linkage or else your choke's not going to work properly. We're going to hook up the throttle linkage to the side of the carburetor and reconnect our fuel and vent lines. Make sure all your clamps are in place, that way we don't have any fuel leaks when we go to start it back up. slide our top plate through the throttle linkage and remount it with the seven 10 millimeter bolts. Don't forget to reconnect your throttle linkage. Now our last step is installing the air box cover. Well, okay, job's all done. Really wasn't that tough, was it? 
and you saved yourself some cash because you didn't drag it to a pesky dealer. Listen, for a complete list of parts and tools used in this video, check the description below. For more content like this, like us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you need any parts, come find us online at partzilla.com.